Michelle Bizet, and today I am here with a really, I hope, beneficial video for you guys. It is something that I obsessively search on the internet and I'm always hoping to gain knowledge about, and that is productivity and inspiration and pretty much just being motivated and ready to face the world and ready to get shit done. And yeah, so that's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna share with you my favorite ways to stay inspired and my favorite methods of getting work done. So yeah, let's go. So I have a list here of all of my favorite things. And first on the list is actually what I have in my hands right here. And it is my productivity planner. And it is made by a company called Intelligent Change. And it is actually run by YouTube creators, Mimi and Alex Econ. Mostly Alex, but Mimi helps out. I'll leave their links in the description. They are so inspirational. They make amazing content. And I bet you would love it. They just had a baby too, who was ridiculously cute. Anyways, off topic. But this is pretty much the secret to being a productive human being. It has a good 30 pages, just kind of focusing on how to use it and what the purposing is. Very simply, they use the Pomodoro technique. You work for a 25 minute block and they choose that amount of time because it's like indivisible. You can't like cut it in half and be like, oh, I'll do half a Pomodoro, you know? It's like, no, you do 25 minutes and you get about five minutes off or there's like a little break where you go and get water or a snack or something. You prioritize your most important task of the day. And once that is done, then you can go on to the next thing. So those are your secondary tasks of importance. And then below that, there are additional tasks that you can get done if you have the time. And there's also extra space for notes. And then you have your productivity score. So you score how productive you were in that day and you talk about what you did right or what you may have not done as well to get that score. It also has a weekly planning thing so you get it's the same kind of idea most important secondary importance and additional tasks and then there's also a weekly review at the end of the week where you talk about um, what you got done what you might not have get, gotten done what were your personal accomplishments and just kind of like reviewing how you worked that week I would highly recommend you getting it. it it is a little bit pricey I think it's about like 25 bucks off of Amazon I'll leave a link in the description I just like had to share this with you guys because it is ridiculously amazing and worth every penny then along with that I use the reminder apps on my phone just to really keep track of everything I need to get done in my life I'll refer back to that see what deadlines are coming up and also I have more context as to the whole picture and everything I need to get done so I can really prioritize what's most important and how it's all going towards the end goal. It is available both on your iPhone and on a Mac computer. So if I'm working on my computer, I can easily refer back to it. And also if I'm out and about, I can check my phone. So then going on to kind of more personal inspiration, how to be inspired to actually get work done and to get out of bed and to like face the world and do amazing things. That is where another intelligent change product comes in. And that is the five minute journal. What you do is you go through and you write what you're grateful for, also what would make today great, and then daily affirmations. So like today I said, I am powerful and influential, and I am hardworking and strong. And so that is a really good way to start the morning. It only takes like, not even five minutes, like three minutes. And it really just like elevates your day and gets you in the right mindset to really face the world. And then at night, they also have a similar thing. They have three amazing things that happened today. And then how could I have made today even better? So it's really thinking into the future as well as reflecting back on your day. Then the next thing is actually one of my favorites ever, and it is podcasts. I actually have a favorite one. It is Girl Boss Radio, hosted by Sophia Amoruso, who is the founder of Nasty Gal. She wrote a book called Girl Boss. She wrote another book called Nasty Galaxy. Anyways, she is amazing. She is so kind of sarcastic and funny, but she also is really influential and really inspiring. And pretty much what she does is each week she interviews different girl bosses. So these can be people like authors or entrepreneurs or TV hosts, all these different amazing girls who are doing awesome things. And she talks with them about how they got to where they are, going down to like their first job. Some people were janitors, some people worked at McDonald's. It's really talking about how you can get from, you know, a very average life 
to really creating something amazing. And my favorite way to listen to podcasts is just kind of while I'm doing some more mundane tasks. So like if I'm doing dishes or laundry or cleaning my room or um, cleaning the kitchen, you know, just like getting little tasks done like that, I'll listen to that and it's kind of like a double whammy because it keeps you entertained while you're doing those mundane tasks, but you're also getting re-inspired and re-motivated at the same time. So I listen to those all the time. I have yet to find another podcast that really connects with me as much as hers does, but if you guys have any suggestions, leave it down in the comments, both for me and for others who might be watching this video. And then also a more personal inspiration would be daily vloggers, or just like a lot of different YouTube creators in general, but more specifically daily vloggers because they're showing, I mean, to a point, a huge portion of their lives. And they're sharing, you know, you know what? I got five hours of work done today and now I'm gonna go have lots of fun. And there's obviously some daily vloggers that are more obviously hardworking than others. A lot of people don't really show when they're working, they just kind of get their work done and then they go to vlog. But some of my favorites are Sarah Dietschy. She is a New York based vlogger. Also Eric Conover, who I met a couple of years ago. I don't know if you guys saw that vlog, but um, he has grown so much in the past couple of years and I love his vlogs and he's really inspirational. Additionally, Casey Neistat, he actually just quit vlogging. Even if you go back and watch his vlogs, it's one of the most motivational YouTubers you could ever watch. I mean, he was the one who made working hard like the coolest thing ever. It's just crazy to watch how hard he works and also how much fun he has and how reckless he is at the same time. Like, he's just crazy, but he's so inspirational. So I would really recommend watching him, even if you're just going back and watching old vlogs. And then also, one of my favorites, John Olson. He is like a pro skier dude who just started daily vlogging. Well, not just, he, I think he's been doing it for like 250 days or something. But he makes the most mind-blowing content. He uses like professional film cameras to like film his vlogs. And he owns like multiple businesses and like, I mean, he's just crazy. I love watching him. And then obviously Mimi and Alex Econ, who I already mentioned before, but they are like the ultimate inspirations for me. That was kind of crazy. That was a lot of people, but I will leave them all in the description below. I'll also leave little icons for them in the end of the video if you want to click on them and see what they're up to. Oh, and also with the daily vloggers, you kind of have to do it in moderation. Obviously, I'm not encouraging you to spend your whole day watching YouTube videos because that wouldn't be very productive. But using it to an extent, maybe watching some daily vloggers while you eat breakfast or at your lunch break, you know, it, it can kind of just get you back in the right mindset and also getting an insight into the larger picture because a lot of them are traveling, a lot of them are seeing different things in the world, so it kind of gives you some bigger picture inspiration. So yeah, just, just thought I would point that out. <laughs> also very important would be wellness and taking care of yourself. If your body or mind is not doing well, then you're obviously not going to be able to get as much work done or get any done, therefore. So I would really recommend, you know, getting exercise, obviously. I mean, who wants to sit on their computer all day and not move at all? So like, if you get exercise done, I prefer to get it done like first thing in the morning, I go to 6 a.m., workout class, whatever time of day you can get it in, it's really good and it gets rid of that extra kind of like jittery energy that you may have um, and really helps you focus because your body is a little bit more tired. That and also getting enough sleep. Obviously you need the initial energy to even get anything done. If, you, if you've gotten no sleep, you're not going to remember anything, you're not going to be able to work hard or be focused, so sleep is obviously very important. I still need to work on that a little bit more. Then, if all else fails, we can just turn to coffee. I mean, let's be real, I've just gotten totally into coffee. It really helps me get work done, honestly, because it makes me physically happier. I feel like jumping around and like changing the world after I drink a cup of coffee. Honestly, if it gives you energy and it makes you want to make a change in the world, then like, I don't think it's a bad thing, right? I don't know. Anyways, so those were my tips on how to stay productive and motivated and inspired and just pretty much how to change the world, obviously. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit that little subscribe button down below. And if you wanna be the first people to watch my videos, especially when I started daily vlogging, you can hit the little 
bell symbol and it will give you notifications to all of my videos when they're put up. So I hope you guys have an extraordinary day. If you have any additional productivity tips or stories about productivity or anything like that, leave them in the comments below and I would love to read them, love to respond to them, and love to start a conversation. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye!